Hello everybody, Leon X here, and welcome back to another gameplay of Khaki Rain Director's Cut. So we're on day two, and let's begin. Uh... Messy, just the way I like it. Okay, so I guess we... I remember her roommate was talking about something about the computer. Oh, what's this? Hi, cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love, without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, please, like she actually uses the space bar? Shit. Looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Alright, let's find out what that is, huh? Should be on her suitcase. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Okay, so E. Summers? Let's call the hacker. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast, her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. Ha 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 ha, burn! Wow, just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, <sighs> I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software. But not anymore. There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. Ian Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together and let's just say he is one sore loser. <laughs> Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way. He's such an ass. He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. He thinks the what is better than the what? I know, right? Can you believe that guy? Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? You block the ethernet port in my room. I don't even have physical access. Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? No, there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain, for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And... Oh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? What the hell is that? Uh... I'll have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Quid pro quo. Clearly. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. All right. Let's see. Um. Oop.
That was quick. That was way too quick. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. It's labeled boot. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Three, call Clyde at 555-8181. Tell him your computer crashed and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven, look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job after all. Uh, the good old days of computer hacking. Hi, Cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love without the quote. Oh. You call Super Spet. All right. Uh, let's log in. Floppy disks go in there. One. Boot two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. I just love the old DAW style too. Nostalgia. Okay, so corrupt. Yes. Shut down. Okay. So. All right. Time for some expert help. to come and fix my roommate's computer what seems to be the problem it won't start up there's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen probably a hard drive failure which room are you in dorm a room five i'll be there in a few minutes thanks Clyde from IT. Hi, come in. My, oh my, now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm, let's have a look. Presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, that worked. Thanks. No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. What?
Shit. I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. Password Angel Love. So, how do we get him to log? And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could, could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead, I'll wait. Works like a charm. Mission accomplished. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. I'll be sure to do that. Shit. I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. doing that before Clyde is logged in. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. did for crying out loud <sighs> let me try to log in with my account okay everything seems to be in order I've unlocked your account please try not to break anything else 
Oh, I'll try. Man, I wasted a lot of time there, but it's okay. <sighs> Phase one complete. Okay, now we turn off. Admin and Gadget. Okay. And then, what was it? Now comes the crucial part. You need five. Reboot six. Reboot and log seven. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my Ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. That's it. Dorm B, room eight. Okay. Dorm B, room eight. All right, that should do it. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh man, I could kiss you! Uh, figuratively, that is. I am so gonna get back at Clyde now. What are those admin credentials, by the way? Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Huh. I suppose this nice floppy I prepared for you stays in my room then. Sure, then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Now this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. Fine. I'll have it dropped off at your room. Goddamn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clydeette. Huh. That is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. There's a floppy disk inside. It's labeled tools. Well, let's go find out what this tools is. Okay, so. Um, do we? Let's get that image scanned. Okay, let's reveal, let's reveal.
What the hell is that? Ball lightning? Got it. <sighs> I'll print the whole picture for now, but there's probably more to find. Printing. Shape okay. has to be significant somehow. I'm quite yet. I think there's more to find in this picture. Pretty sure that's all there is to find in this picture. Oh, is it? Is that it? Cool. And then, uh. Uh. Where's the picture? I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. Let's see. It's a bright red flower of some kind. Could be a long shot, but I've never seen a flower like that. Maybe finding out more about where it grows could narrow down where the picture was taken. A printed picture of the strange smoky lights. It appears to have been taken somewhere in Conwell Woods. Now that I look at them, they remind me of something I picked up yesterday. This? Wow, the church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights. I might have to visit them after all. Got something. And look who just popped out. Oh, hello there, Mildred. Hi yourself, Agatha. What? How'd you... Oh, never mind. I Agatha. need a social security number, too. Oh, God. <laughs> Soon you'll start stealing my clothes and then walk around in them pretending to be me. She's getting creepy. Who says I haven't done that already? Okay, I admit, that's pretty funny. So, anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill out, -y. It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why'd you want to steal his password? It's a long story. Wow. They're hypnotic. 
Looks like a will o' the wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. Isn't it your Christian duty to consider people like her to be heathens? Oh, I doubt she could ever be more of a heathen than you are. Huh. I guess you've got a point. So, anyway, is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. Haha. <laughs> I meant with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken? I know exactly where to start. Oh, and yeah, feel free to keep using my computer. I don't need it right now. All right, I think I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to motivate Erica Wade to talk to me. Okie dokie. All right, uh, let's see, how are we gonna do this? Oh, um, I'm doing that already. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Ch Eric, and, and what? We're never going to cop you. It's me. I feel it just. Oh, there we go. The only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. There we go. All right, now what? Uh, voice Forge. Okay, Erica Wade. Let's see if we can't motivate you to hear me out. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyway, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. Calm down, Kathy. Think. Just think. It has to be some sick joke left in the program by Dave. Yeah, that must be it. He is one twisted fuck. 
That was kind of creepy. Okay, so I was supposed to pick the words, huh? Pick the words that will... Okay. So I gotta look for Charles's words. Do it. Almost. Just a few more tweaks. That should work. Oh, cool. I'll just reuse the same tape and place the modified message at the end. Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. All right. The forged message should now be at the end of the original tape. Sweet. Quit. Let's see if this works. your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. This is Kathy Rain. I spoke to your father. He asked me to get in touch with you and said he would call ahead. You can reach me at 555-8352. Bye. That's so Norman, awesome. Erica. Do I get a call back? Now that's some out of the box thinking. Yep, just might be silly enough to work. Well, time for a break. Gotta eat something before I pass out. Okie dokie, I'll stay here and keep digging. All right, see you in a bit. Hey. Hey. So, any progress with the search? Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. It's called the Red Scythe, or Rosia Falcus. I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in 89. The Red Scythe is on their list of endangered plants. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's something. I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. My thoughts exactly. Here you go. The nature reserve is marked out on this map. Jeez, you've been busy. Well, you know, beats homework. Meh. Amen to that. And, uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help! So, what- Oh, 
Hang on, I'll go get that. Okie dokie. Hello? This is Erica Wade calling for Kathy Rain. Speaking. Miss Rain, but this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. Apology accepted. You can start by answering a few questions. Very well. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. Father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by that name. <laughs> All right, then. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? Not really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed father. It did? Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. But in the end, it never happened. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pod. <laughs> always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became the uncle I never had. He was around a lot when Father went out on business trips. Later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Oh, no matter, you were so little then. Erica, I have to ask, why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when I tried to reach out? I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with Father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Father just couldn't bear seeing him like that, neither alive nor dead. What do you know about Lily Myers? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. But other than that, not much. We never knew the family. Uh, her art. What do you know about Lily Myers' art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. I couldn't understand why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that or... Oh, he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Uh, what about your father? What can you tell me about Mr. Wade? My father is a great man. He has so many ideas. So much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? The illness and everything, of course. Right. Yeah, it must be hard. Oh, yes, indeed. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. The community clinic in the middle of town? Yes. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. Uh, Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. They seem like a typical church to me. That's it? Okay, that's all I needed. Very well. Feel free to call back if you have any more questions. All right. Wade is in Conwell Springs. He's being treated in the clinic. That was Erica Wade. Her father is being treated at the clinic in Conwell Springs. Being treated? He's sick? Looks that way small miracle they managed to keep it out of the press yeah i suppose you're returning to talk to him it'll have to be tomorrow 
it's quite late for that now. I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're so on. I will crush you. <laughs> you're off your game today. Is everything all right? No, I think this is oh, new. shut up. I didn't this get a part lot of the sleep director's cut. Oh, up late, thinking about your grandpa and everything? Not just that, I keep having this bad dream. Well, it's not exactly a dream, it's something that actually happened. Oh? What is it? I'm not sure I should tell you. You can trust me. Whatever it is, I promise I won't judge. Well, it's your funeral. So, uh, I used to be 16 and also pregnant. Did you have an aneurysm just now, E? Um, <laughs> please go on. Well, seeing as how I don't actually have a five year old, you can probably put two and two together. You had an abortion. Sure did. Major pain in the ass too, but hey, couldn't let that pregnancy go untreated. <sighs> I'm glad you're telling me, but I really wish you hadn't done that, Kathy. Who was the, um, you know, the... <laughs> Choices. Guy who knocked me up. Single motherhood waiting to happen. Back then I couldn't cook anything but microwave food and I'd wretch if I so much as walked past one trash can with smelly diapers in it. That kid would have been raised by my mother. I'd rather die than put another child through that. I respect your decision, but you know how I feel about this. That guy up there, he's pro-life. And I'm with him. I get that. I gotta say, you're being really cool about this, E. I was expecting you to clutch your cross, flip the table, and storm off or something. I'm not a walking stereotype, you know. Says the red-headed nerd with the glasses. Ha ha. But Kathy... If you keep having that nightmare, perhaps you should talk to somebody about it. Maybe. But I doubt obsessing over it is very healthy either. Your turn, E. Oh, fine. Hmm. Oh! I play... Apricot? Orange. Yay, bingo! 67 points. Well, ain't that fucking peachy. At least it's not sour grapes. Ha, <laughs> touche. That was a relaxing moment, huh? And that night, she dreams. Who the, the heck is this approaches. guy? Is it time? <laughs> Okay, this is getting creepy. Yes, a fire that burns so bright, it is almost unbearable to see. Indeed, it seems the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Shall we sculpt some flesh friends then? <laughs> Very well. I will attend to the threshold. Wow, day three. Good morning, sunshine. Please tell me I dreamt all those scrabble losses last night. Three times in a row. Rub it in, why don't you? I'll just go strangle myself now. Oh, you. Don't be a sore loser. 
So what's the plan today? Mr. Wade is the plan. I'll head for the clinic right away. While I'm at it, I'm gonna check out the church and the nature reserve. Okie dokie. What can I do to help? Why don't you continue looking into the lights? I have a feeling they're the key to solving all of this. You could also look up the history of Conwell Springs in general, see if anything unusual has been going on. I'll get right on it. Great. Thanks, E. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out the page I gave you about the red scythe. It's a pretty interesting flower. Right. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna stop right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Please remember to subscribe, comment, share, and like the video. And I will see you guys next time on another Kathy Rain Director's Cut gameplay. Have a good day, everyone.